legal clinic is where you will discover why you came to law school. And when you get to the legal clinic and you have a client and you get to change someone's life, because I can't think of a single student who isn't working on a case in the legal clinic that has some pretty massive implications in a client's life, it will answer that question for you, that why. That why did you go to law school, who do you want to be, and where do you want to end up? That legal clinic is the place that will do that for you. I think Drake has been a pioneer, and I'll call it experiential education. I mean, if you go back to our original founder, Chester Cole, who was a visionary, uh, I remember I've gone back and looked again, is an article in 1875 in the Western Jurist where he, he talks about what we now call law and law in the books and law in action, <clears throat> and the need for <clears throat> lawyers to, to, to both develop those skills, but also by uh, working on behalf of clients in, in those settings, uh, you get a deeper knowledge of the book learning as well. Clinical education at Drake has really evolved over the last 50 years. We started out in a house on Brattleboro Avenue. We were trying to create a, a type of legal education that not many schools had done. And over the years we've learned a lot about what works and what hasn't. And so clinical education at Drake has evolved into a really excellent uh, program. I think a, a key step probably was hiring Dan Power, uh, who had been a trial lawyer with the Department of Justice and the Tax Division, um, both for teaching uh, evidence, for example, but also uh, you know, clinical programs. I was very purposely looking for a school that would let me start what I called a legal clinic. Professor Dan Power was the founding director of the Drake Legal Clinic in 1971 and led the growth of the program from a small house to the beautiful facility we have today. Legal Clinic was in a house now demolished on Brattleboro. But Brattleboro was an intimate, cozy old storefront lawyers kind of uh, place, but it wasn't, uh, you know, they didn't have the professional aura that the, the legal clinic uh, with, with this library, with uh, conference rooms to meet with clients and lawyers and, and uh, just location on, on the, the bus route of the city and its accessibility to clients, this didn't have the aura. Dedicated in 1987 by Chief Justice Warren Berger. The state-of-the-art facility was made possible by funds secured by Representative Neil Smith who, along with his wife, B, graduated from Drake Law in 1950. This has got to be one of the most impressive you know, facilities for clinical education in the nation. And um, we owe that, I think, to the vision, the support, uh, longtime support of our distinguished graduate, Neil Smith, and his wife, B, both graduates. Early leading probably the strongest supporter of clinical education in the United States. But that guy was one of the finest human beings in Congress, in the House and the Senate. Since its founding, thousands of law students have enrolled in the Drake Legal Clinic and have provided hundreds of thousands of hours of service to deserving clients without charge. We declared it uh, the, really the motto in effect, was dedicated to justice. People often describe legal clinics as a win-win, and I, I do like I do like that analogy. It's it's a win-win um, both for the community and for the students. Right, our students get this opportunity to, to practice before they're licensed attorneys. The clinic plays a critical role here in the Des Moines area for providing. Uh, underrepresented and underprivileged uh, individuals access to legal representation. The cases that we get, uh, they're real clients, these people are going through real problems, and when a clinic student resolves that out, resolves that problem favorably for a client, uh, I think the look in their face is enough for any law student to, to find the sense of accomplishment. It really gave me an opportunity to understand the needs of individuals. 
particularly those who otherwise would not have the representation if the clinic was not here to providing those services for the individual. So it allowed me to really increase my empathy for those who perhaps otherwise would not have been represented. I actually didn't do any family law before I came here to Iowa, but it turns out that this, that's where the greatest need is. Uh, legal services can only take a few cases. There's a volunteer lawyer project. They can only take a few cases, and the court is overwhelmed with pro se litigants and family law. I get excited as a judge when I see Drake Legal Clinic team walk in because I know they bring experience and they bring the ability to educate their client to the courtroom. So that means for me, I know that person who needed help, they went to Drake, they have a good law student who's going to use their talent and resources, you're going to have an experienced professor and that person is going to have access to justice. While serving clients, the legal clinic creates unparalleled educational opportunities for Drake Law students, preparing them for the real world of practice. We're really proud to be leaders in clinical legal education because we think it fits really well with our mission to create complete professionals. So we want lawyers that not only know the law, but they know how to practice law. They know how to interview a client. They know how to appear in court. They know how to do a business deal. They know how to write a will. And you can't do that sitting in a classroom. Students really long for a better grounding in the skills part of being a lawyer. It's a powerful uh, synergy between being able to develop the competency of our students as lawyers and at the same time deliver legal services to those in need. Over here at the Drake Legal Clinic, students actually get to experience the law in action, where the law intersects with real people and real cases. They get to work directly with clients, they get to go to court and not just talk about what happens in court, but really live it. And the, the idea is that you know, students are free to make mistakes or try something new that they might be afraid to do if they were out on their own in practice, and they have the guidance of supervising attorneys and our clinical faculty. They have the support of their fellow students. And then, of course, they have the overarching experience of being a law student and working in this amazing opportunity to practice law before graduation um, into their development as a lawyer. I think that the clinic has a way to really shape you as an attorney as well as how you practice. And I think that it's something I wish everybody had an ability to take. I honestly think it should be required in certain areas of law. And again, it gave me the um, confidence that I needed to appear before the court, uh, having the opportunity of being inside of a courtroom, drafting documents that will be reviewed by the court. And it really uh, allowed me to, uh, to gain the knowledge that I needed to be able to walk into my current position with uh, confidence and ability knowing that I could get the work accomplished. Something I hear consistently is that graduates of Drake Law School and particularly alumni of the legal clinic are really well prepared to engage in the practice of law. I tell students, I think, not in terms of pay, but in terms of experience, they come in like a second year associate. They can be handed a file and have a sense of what to do with it. They can be told, go to court, and they can have a sense of how to talk to the judge, how to talk to opposing counsel, and all of that is something you don't have if you haven't taken clinic. I can tell you I probably got my first job, which was my dream job, because I could say I had already tried a case because of the Drake Legal Clinic. I had already argued a case in front of the Iowa Court of Appeals, and I represented clients. And under the full supervision of experienced lawyers and professors. It's always been a part of our mission to have our graduates proud to be lawyers. Uh, understand the tradition of service, knowing how much people need help, uh, how important it is that they have uh, competent, you know, good legal uh, assistance, and for our graduates to feel not only good about being a lawyer, but confident in, in being a lawyer. As I mentor students, I tell them all the time, regardless of the type of law you think you may want to practice, it is so important to participate in the clinical program. It's important because it gives you that confidence of working with individuals personally and getting inside of a courtroom. It's one thing to read the law and have it applied on, on a um, ac purely academic basis, but to have the practical experience is something that's unmatched. And I think with all the different clinical uh, programs that Drake has here, 
uh, I believe a, a student would do themselves a disservice if they did not participate in one or one of the clinical programs. You can learn a lot in the classroom, and, and Drake does a phenomenal job of that. I, I really appreciate my formal legal education. But how you interact with clients, interact with opposing counsel, interact with the court, um, I think that was the capstone of my legal career, is to take that theoretical knowledge, the practical knowledge, and apply it. And, and do what the law professors taught you to do, is apply the, the facts to the law. And in, in the Drake Legal Clinic, you're applying real facts to real law, Iowa law. And that was a great challenge, and uh, I am very thankful I, I had an opportunity to work at the Drake Legal Clinic. But once they get here and they start putting it together and seeing a, what civil procedure, oh, here's where we have to do this kind of a motion. That makes sense. And they can work with people. They just shine. So many of them just have shined beautifully when they're in clinic. She was not only grateful, but she was also the first person who called me a lawyer and called me her lawyer and told me how much it meant to be represented. And being at clinic, representing people, knowing their stories, really told me that's what I wanted to do. Over the years, numerous faculty and staff have been responsible for the success and growth of the clinic. In addition, the clinic has received tremendous support from donors and grants to continue and expand its work. This joint enterprise of the Drake Legal Clinic has had a lasting impact on the lives of many people in our community. Me ayudaron en muchas cosas. Well, you helped me a lot. I am very happy. I really like the idea that if there are people out there who need, to, who need help to become U.S. citizens, they can come here and you can help them. Yeah, if you get a chance to, to use the Drake Legal Clinic, definitely, definitely do it. Um, definitely do it. And um, as a small business, it, it's an incredible resource, um, especially when you're, you're starting out and uh, you don't have money to pay for for a lawyer. Um, it's, it's a resource that's out there that you should definitely tap. I had a role in helping them be such good lawyers and that is a real testament to what Clinic does and makes me feel good and feel like what I've done is worthwhile. I'm just grateful I came here and I'm grateful for the opportunity that Drake's given me. I think I just can't say enough about the Drake Legal Clinic. I knew from the moment I visited Drake and I got a tour of this beautiful building and I got to meet the faculty here that this was a place that I wanted to be. It is a place that's filled with really dedicated people who care about the issues I care about. They care about access to justice. They care about creating professionals who have values that inform their practice, that can engage ethically in the practice of law. Um, it's full of people who really love their jobs and love educating students. And so it's been an honor to join that team and to be a part of the amazing things that happen here at the Drake Legal Clinic. Mm -hmm.